That something sweet can be found in the 38,000 acres of sugar beets planted in Montana. It's a sweet deal, <laughs> yes. Brian Uffelman, his dad, and three brothers raise beets on each of their farms in the southeastern corner of this state. Wheat is a cash crop for farmers in this region, and with sugar beets as part of their planting rotation, the family pulls added dollars out of their land. So how much more of a cash crop are beets? Um, last year we averaged right around 30 ton an acre. The final paycheck after it's all said and done is between 1350 and 1400 an acre. A winter wheat crop, if you make 80 bushel times $5, you're basically $400 an acre. Oh wow, it's a lot so more. So there's a lot more money, but there's a lot more money invested in sugar beets, but the end result, you're still making a lot more money raising sugar beets. Farmers in the Northwest, Plain States, and Great Lakes region will raise some 33 million tons of sugar beets. And while many people think of cane sugar, beets actually provide more than half the sugar that makes its way to your table, into your soft drinks, or becomes part of your family's desserts. I don't know if many people realize this is where a lot of the sugar comes from. Yes, most of it. Can I pull one of these up? Sure. And how big will that sugar beet get? See, that's the start of the sugar beet right there. Like a root. That's the root right there, and that root will just keep getting bigger. And it's gonna grow probably about this long, this big and wide. And uh, that should get to be eight to 10 pounds. Eight to 10 pounds. Yep. And that's sugar. That's sugar. Five generations of Uffelmans have grown sugar beets in this Montana Valley. I got about 10 acres left on the north end. Grandson Brandon Uffelman is a junior in college and is ready to return to the land full time to work side by side with his dad. You know, one of the things that we thought was so cool was that whenever you guys are all working together, it's like family helping family helping family after farm, farm, farm. What does that mean to you? Oh, it's great. I mean, some people move away, never see their relatives ever again, you know, or once a year at Christmas or something. We get to see them every day. I mean, I spend all day, almost every day in the summer with my dad. I see uh, real uncles and grandparents and stuff a couple times a week and borrowing equipment. It's great. Brandon's father, Gary, says he's offering his son the same opportunity his dad gave him. Finish college, then start your career in farming. My dad came in and we borrowed equipment from him quite a little. We bought what we could to get started and we just kept growing and bought what we could afford as time went on until we got to the point where we're at now where we pretty much have all of our own equipment. The family's team approach has paid off for the Uffelmans, enjoying success in good times and finding help when they need it. Nobody's done till we're done. Uh, till everybody's just done. Don't make any difference what it is. It's comforting to know that when times get tough, you somebody's gonna come and help you no matter what. The challenges in farming can come from nature, the economy, or fluctuating prices for a crop that takes months to mature. But Bill will tell you it's family values that see them through. Well, it makes me a very proud father. I, I watch the boys, they grow up great, they're, they're great kids, and, and now I'm watching the grandkids and work with us. It's just, I guess that's why I'm still in it. And young Brandon knows his grandfather is definitely still around. Oh yeah, I mean, if you don't do something right, grandpa's on your tail, you got to... He's standing right over there yeah. watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>